Hola gente, what's up guys? In today's video I bring you heatless hairstyles so that we can give our damaged hairs um, a break from heating tools and still look fabulous. So without further ado, let's get started. So for our first heatless hairstyle, we're going to be brushing up our hair into what looks like a high ponytail. But we are not going to pull the hair all the way through that last time. Next, we are going to hide the hair tied, even though it's a clear one, with that strand of hair that remains loose. And we're going to slide in a couple of pins to secure it. And here you see me closing the hair that remains at the top to create some sort of kind of donut bun. And we are going to secure that once again with many, many pins until you feel confident that it will not move. It's like a donut style high bun and you can also frame your face with a couple of pieces of hair. Number two is the bubble braid and this one is extra easy and so in this summer. Basically, we're gonna start creating a low ponytail with this clear hair tie and we're going to allow a couple of pieces up here to frame the face and here you see me adding additional clear hair ties within an equal distance from one another basically as many as your hair's length allows pull the hair on each section in between the hair ties to create a more voluminous look and there you have it the bubble braid Number three also starts with a low ponytail, but this time we're going to allow a little bit more space and that is going to enable us to create this hole. You enter your uh, fingers like this and then grab the rest of the hair and slide it through the hole for this twisted ponytail. Number four is our twist around side braid. So basically it also starts with a low ponytail. Just like the previous hairstyle, we're going to allow some space to create a hole where we pull through the rest of the hair. Next, we are going to add another clear hair tie a few inches away from the previous one. Create another hole on that section and slide the rest of the hair through. And keep repeating as many times as your hair's length allows. Once you're done, then pull each side of each section to create a more voluminous look. That truly makes a lot of difference and you can do this no matter your hair's length. Just give it a go. So for number five, we're going to grab two pieces of hair, one on each side framing your face and then twist them around and then tie them with a clear hair tie at the front, kind of below your chin. And then repeat one more time with two additional pieces of hair. Pull a little bit each piece from each side for a little bit more volume and then flip it for this very feminine and beautiful no-name hairstyle. For number six, we are going to create a half app ponytail and we're basically going to use the same uh, clear hair tie and not go all the way through on that last slide so that we create that nice look and basically that is it. Such an effortless and yet trendy hairstyle that's heatless and that will take you literally two seconds. For number seven, we are going to create another low ponytail, but not that low this time. And then we are going to create a bit of a pocket. So not exactly a hole, but a pocket where we can just slide through 
all the rest of the hair like so and then secure and close that pocket using this mini small hair snap and there you have it a nice kind of updo hairstyle that's a little bit messy and relaxed and so easy to do for number eight we are going to separate a piece up here from the front section and we're going to do a classic braid and secure it at the end with a clear hair tie then you see me repeating the exact same thing on the other side The next step is to create another a second braid on each side right below the previous one. Pull each braid from the sides for that voluminous look that I love. <laughs> And then remove the hair ties and pin them up at the back, creating what I've just baptized a braided back tiara. Don't come for me, that's the best I can do with these names. For number nine, we're basically going to pick small strands of hair in the section that is framing the face, twist them around and then pin them up at the back. Next step is to loosen things up so that it looks a little bit more relaxed and not so tight and we're basically doing the same thing we do with braids, pulling from the sides so that we get a more voluminous look. And there you have it, a very classy and romantic kind of feminine half up half down hairstyle that honestly looks like we just put a lot of effort into and we absolutely did not <laughs> so for number 10 we are going to be French braiding each side at the top section of our hair As you guys can see, I always like to leave um, a couple of strands of hair just loose and just framing the face. Notice how I'm only braiding up to more or less the level of my neck and then I am tying things at the back with a clear hair tie. Now for number 11, we're starting out where we left off and we're basically going to take the same hairstyle that we just created and pull the braids from each side so that we create that more relaxed, voluminous look. And following that, we're going to do a classic braid all the way to the bottom secure it with a hair tie and then once again pull from each side quite a bit so that we really have the appearance of a super super voluminous braid for the next heatless hairstyle we're basically going to do a variation of the previous hairstyle as you can see, I am undoing the last braid and simply pinning up each of the side French braids that we created originally. And finally, to complete this hairstyle and spice things up a little bit, I am decorating the French braid with a couple of flower pins.
Number 13 is a flipped messy braid. I actually created a full tutorial on this one in case you guys want to go deeper into it. It's going to be linked in the description box below but basically for those of you who are more advanced I am French braiding kind of a beard that starts at my chin and then we are going to flip it for a very nice braid that's actually so easy to do and looks so complicated. I love this hairstyle and I use it quite a bit. For number 14, I am going to be teasing the hair, the roots, at my crown for a lot of volume and for that I am going to be using my tangle teaser which is typically designed for this as the name suggests. And once I get enough volume at the crown, I'm basically going to pin up half of my hair and leave some loose strands as always framing the face. This gives me a little bit of a Brigitte Bardot um, kind of vibe. <laughs> Last but not least, we are going to turn number 14 into a high ponytail and I just love how easy and just elegant and super chic these high ponytail looks. I mean, look at it. So simple and yet so gorgeous and sophisticated. And that's a wrap my friends. I hope this video was worth your time and that it inspired you in some way. If it did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. Thank you so much for stopping by, for putting up with me and I will talk to you all again on my next one.